The team seems to be in good spirits, I guess, or I would describe it. You know, I, I just think, you know, going through the series, there's going to be emotional swings. Um, you know, I'm sure there were some emotional swings for them as the series unfolded. There's emotional swings for us, and I think it's how you respond from those swings to be able to regroup and, and, and get back at, um, you know, competing again. Billy, all season long, we've talked about sustainability, things that you can do game in, game out. It's 44 three-point attempts just – way outside the range of what what you guys can allow yeah i mean you know again you know they 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 got loose and they got free on some and i also thought you know some of some of clay's threes were were really uh very very difficult tough shots you got to give him credit he kind of got on a roll very similar to he he did um i think it was in game three or four in that third quarter um but no question you know they've they've they've, they're they're a terrific three-point shooting team and you've got to you know, be aware of that. And I've been saying all along, you know, even in some games where maybe they haven't shot the ball at the level they have during the course of the season, um, it wasn't always all about our defense. You know, it's our defense is we, we've got to do a good job of being where we're supposed to be, and then we're going to have to live with the result from that. Billy, some have suggested that the team t- uh, tenses up, that, that down the stretch, particularly at home, with the home crowd wanting it, say, in this last mm-hmm. game especially, and maybe it is as good, if not mm-hmm. better, to be on the road. Do you have any feeling about that? Yeah, no, listen, um, you know, I, I think for both teams, all the players want to win. They've put, invested a lot during a, a course of a long, long period of time, you know, and you can get into moments where sometimes you can almost want it too bad. Uh, I'm not saying that that's what's happened to us, but, you know, that that can happen. Um, but I, I, I felt like coming down the stretch, you, you got to do it collectively together as a group. Mm-hmm. And, um, and whatever the situation and however it unfolds tonight, we've got to do it collectively as a group. And... Um, uh, we've got to trust the pass. We've got to move the ball. We've got to collectively guard as a group. We've got to be prepared to help one another. you got to basically rebound the ball collectively. So I think in those moments, instead of it being just you know, relying on one player to get a defensive stop or one player to get a score, you've got to utilize the team to help each other. Is it more important maybe one of them get the start off right tonight? Because they're going to have a lot of motion off game six. The crowd's going to be there. It's holiday. The start, how more important tonight, you think? Yeah, I mean, it's probably the same thing in game six, you know, with them coming into our place, you know, wanting to, you know, get off um, to, to, to a good start. But I think because of the explosiveness of both teams, there's going to be runs in the game. You know, we got them down by 12 or 13, and, you know, they were able to come back and get back in the game. Same thing happened here, you know, in game one. We got down by double digits and were able to get back in the game. So it's going to be a 48-minute game. There's going to be swings in the game. We've got to basically be able to play through if we're not playing great. And if we are playing great, we've got to understand that we can't take our, you know, foot off the gas pedal. you still got to play against this team. It seems like some of your best offenses come when you have – driven closeouts mm-hmm. why have you been able to generate those opportunities do you think well I, you know I think just offense in general there's so many um, terrific one-on-one offensive players that when you can generate two on the ball and the ball comes out now the defense is scrambling now you're in position to make decisions in terms of attacking the paint and, cr- and, and attacking closeouts and then you can generate extra pass and ball movement and those kind of things so um, I, I think anybody's offense you know if you look at um, you know, the Warriors offensively, so much of what they do is from behind the line. But with that being said, they're also an attack-the-basket team too. Um, and I think in order to be a good offensive team, you've got to be an attack-the-basket team because it generates fouls, it generates threes, it generates offensive rebounding. You know, and then obviously defensively, you're always trying to protect the paint and be able to build out to the three-point line. Being in the situation you guys are where you gave up a 3-1 series lead, does tonight feel any different? Is the pressure any different because of that? No, I mean, I, listen, we, we understand what's at stake right now. Both teams do. You know, this is it. This is this is the last game of this series, and uh, it's on their home court where they've been exceptional. Um, but I think what we want to try to do as a team is put our best foot forward and play the very, very best of our ability, and then we're going to live with the result, whatever it is. But I think our guys are excited about the opportunity to compete and play. And, and um, you know, going into this series, we're, 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 we knew we were playing against, obviously, a team that won an NBA championship last year and set a record this year for wins in the regular season. So this is a terrific team. So we're excited about the opportunity to compete and be able to do this. Is there a different feel or different focus being a Game 7, a little bit more like a college NCAA tournament thing? You lose your out. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a little bit like that right now. But obviously, there's been a progression of leading up you know, to, the, to the seventh game. Um, but I, I think I do think there is a mindset you have to have in these situations in terms of how you're you're going to play. Um, I think that 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 the the, the mindset of of um, understanding you know that 
Um, neither team, you know, is is going to get back any possession, so to speak. And you really have got to do things, I think, in a way that you're collectively connected and there's a high level of of trust in terms of everybody doing their job at the, to the best of their ability. Of, of trust in terms of everybody doing their job at the, to the best of their ability.